befriending the bots this series is back the series where i talk to all the bots what are the bots the beginners pretty much how it is the beginners the guys that don't know as much and i take things for granted that i know in the back of my head that i need to give out to the world little tidbits of information that's what this series is about i'm a bot pretty much in everything that i do other than madden let's talk about picking a playbook All right, the first thing, playbooks. The easiest thing to do, let's just pray that maybe it's the same as last year. People say Madden is a cookie cutter. It just comes the same. First of all, it's the biggest fallacy in the history of gaming when people say Madden's the same every year. Absolutely not. If they say that, remove their opinion from Madden out of your mind because it means nothing. It's never the same, but it could be similar in some aspects. So the first thing you want to do Let's check out the playbook I ran last year. Is it the same? Are the plays the same? Are the formations the same? Am I as comfortable in it? Are my short yard plays good? Are my deep plays good? Are my red zone good? If it's the same, let's go. Let's get going to weekend league. Let's get going to mud head to head. I, I feel comfortable, man. So that's the first thing I will tell you to do is look at your old playbook and does it translate? Let's talk about ebooks. One of the best things I ever did as a Madden player, aspiring Madden player, and a casual Madden player was buy an ebook in Madden 08. I'll never forget it. It was the Atlanta Falcons ebook. I bought it from the Gamers Lab in Madden 08. How many of you guys are old enough to remember that? What is the age check and what is the first year you started playing Madden? Madden 08 was the year I got sweaty, and it's because I bought an ebook. Not only did it help me when to run plays and when not to, it helped me learn what pro players thought and how they made their reads and what was important to them. And from there, I pretty much took that one that one ebook and it kind of helped me learn and make my own offenses as I went since then. So it definitely was a, a milestone in my Madden career. And you should never feel shame in getting an ebook, spending money on your skill, improving your talent, improving your knowledge. And two, I mean, it is a huge benefit for you rather than buying packs. It's going to help you win two or three more weekend league games, and that's going to make you more coins in the long run, man. So I, I always think it's more beneficial for you to learn what pro players think rather than just spend money on your team and keep getting the faster players. You can have the best tools in the shed, but can you use them the best? That's the key. Uh, and uh, ebook will definitely help you with that. Uh, I don't think they've ruined Madden at all. I think they've helped people get better and help people learn the game more. Um, so for me, there, there's been a, a bad stigma about it. But you know, you guys pay for courses for for any any job that you do, any hobby that you do. People pay for golf lessons. People pay for basketball lessons. Uh, AAU leagues, everything. Any type of training people pay for, and ebooks is similar to that. If you want to get better at this game, it is a huge opportunity for you to learn what we think. So, like I said, Madden Turf, check that out. It will definitely help your game and take it to the next level. Another thing we're going to offer this year private lessons, man. If you guys really want to up, up your talent and really hear straight from us to help your particular game, that's going to be an option on Madden Turf as well. So, stay tuned for that. So, that's probably the second thing I want. Look into some ebooks. One thing that always held me back from the ebook was, damn, I don't run that playbook. You know, I like my Minnesota Vikings playbook. Boom. This is what I like. This is what I love. Um, but what I have to realize, and I did start to realize, is that just because I'm stuck in my Minnesota Vikings playbook, right? If someone puts an ebook out, if Skimball drops an ebook on, on Washington, you know, there might be some carryover. Man, I might be able to use some of his tidbits and some of his knowledge and add it to my own game. That's a huge deal. Uh, because it's kind of what an ebook would help you understand the game and you can add some of that to your own formations your own money plays man i would tell you if you spend 20 bucks on an ebook and it gives you one great play that's going to help your offense or your defense that's valuable so don't be discouraged and uh don't be afraid to, to just not necessarily change playbooks but go ahead and add what's in that playbook and add it to your own game it might not even be an exact play but maybe just a concept that you can add to your formation or your money plays that you run on a weekly basis. Last time I'm going to do I'm going to show you a couple ways to look at a playbook because I didn't really know this stuff for a while. I used to go in practice mode and look through all the playbooks and everything like that, but it's a lot easier this year. It's a lot easier throughout Madden the last couple years when they put the customized playbooks in here. So I'll show you guys this. Let's take a look. I'm in playbook. This is Madden 21. This is not the new game. Uh, but this is how you check a playbook if you're on the game. I'll give you another a better option in a minute. But if you're on the game, 
custom playbooks, man. Which one do you want to pick? You know, let's try Baltimore. What do they have? Now it shows you every single play that they have when you go to custom playbooks. Uh, bunch, let's see that. What do they have? Okay, re remove my audibles. That's what you do. You change your audibles. I really don't care about the audibles. I just want to see what plays they have, you know, and I can go through and compare them to other other playbooks. Do they still have the same plays I had last year? Uh, so on and so forth. But And that's pretty much the best way to look at playbooks when you're on the game. I was quit without saving playbook, and we're right back where we were. Let's try a defense. Man, let's try Atlanta's defense. 4-3. They got the dime. They got nickel normal. Uh, things like that. So it's just it's just the easiest way to look while you're on the game. So you don't have to go in practice mode or a game or anything like that. But I'll show you what is the best feature pretty much for Madden right now as far as playbooks concerned. And that's on Huddle GG. It is a great site. If you guys want to check it out. Like I said, I got you covered for ebooks. This site doesn't pay me, but it's such a good feature that I'm going to go ahead and share it to you guys because, you know, whether I get paid or anything like that, it doesn't really matter to me because uh, you guys should be checking this out. I'm not going to hold you back from this. But it's playbooks right here, database, and this is it. This is everything you need. This is when you're on a phone. It's actually pretty good on my phone, too. I checked it out on the phone. So if you're on mobile, it's really good as well. Uh, but you can go ahead and scroll here. I'm on my computer right now, obviously, but... Let's check it again. We'll go back. Let's go Seattle. That's what I ran last year. You click Seattle offense, and then it's going to bring up all the plays in Seattle offense. It's a little slow right now, but let's see. Click Seattle. There it is. Click Seattle's offense. Single back, bunch tight end, bunch wing. All the single back formations, the I form, the strong. I want to go right to the gun because I'm a pass heavy player. I don't know what you are. You might want to check out I form, strong I, and pistol, anything like that. Different playbooks are different. But I want to go to gu to gun. Now let's check bunch. The best thing about it, this is Seattle's bunch. Okay, let's see. All other playbooks with gun bunch. So easily you can check that. Does that go in my Vikings playbook? Does that go in my Packers playbook? Just an absolutely great feature. An even better one is, okay, bunch trail is my favorite play. All playbooks with bunch trail. Boom. Now I can, now I can go my Vikings playbook. Okay, let's go to Vikings playbook. Let's go, let's see what else their bunch has. Just like that. Literally, just it's it's an effortless site to check playbooks and, and really compare, like I said in the beginning, compare what your playbook last year had and what it might have this year. And, and you know, I, I like that one play for my playbook, but let's see what other options I have. But like I said, be on the lookout for all ebooks dropping. At the end of the day, man, come watch me stream and see what playbook I'm running. Check out the YouTube videos, see what playbook I'm running. Now, you can get it that way. Or you can get the ebooks and really learn why I do it. But any day, this is befriending the bots. This is going to help you with the basics of Madden. Um, just the simplest things in the world, man. We're going to go over how to beat cover two, identifying defenses pre and post snap. Just the most basic thing. So don't ever be afraid on these videos to comment below a dumb question. Like, I really do think there's dumb questions in the world. But not for this series. This series, I am open to answering the dumbest questions. If you guys watch me live, Twitch, sometimes I get mad at dumb questions. Not in this series. I am befriending all the bots out there. All you guys that need the simplest help, make sure you leave in the comments. Make sure you like the video if you're enjoying this series.